Now I'm just going to show you how to do a JBL nitrate test. These are very effective and very easy to use tests, which I recommend highly. The first thing we need to do is put two lots of five mils of aquarium water into little test vials. You can get these tests individually, or you can get them um, in a part of a multi-pack like this. So first of all, I'm just going to get five mils, add that to the five mils that I already added in this one from the tank. Then I'm gonna get another five mils. And another five mils. And it is a bit special. So we now have 10 mils of water in both ones of those. So then we put one in there and one for the control. Then I'm gonna get nitrate powder and put in two scoops. So here you go, nitrate, one, two scoops, and it's the fat end of the scoop. So put that there, I grab the scoop, that's the fat end, that's the not fat end. So now if I just scoopy scoop that, give a little bit of a tap so I get like a nice flat, or equivalent to a flat of that. And I tip that in there. Then I just get the next one. make some attempt to make it flat by wacky whacking it a few times and try not to get this wet because that's a pain in the ass to clean so then you try to put your lids on because otherwise you'll spill it if you're half as spastic as I am put that away now I get out number two what I need to do next is give this a bit of a shaky shake Shaken, not stirred. Stirred, not shaken. So I just give that a little shaky, shaky shake until that all works. Then I'm supposed to wait one minute. So I will take this one minute to tell you a little bit about nitrate. Nitrate is um, when ammonia breaks into nitrite, and then nitrate breaks into nit nitrite breaks into nitrate. So there's ammonia first. And that breaks into nitrite. And then nitrite breaks into nitrate. So ammonia first, NH4, breaks down into nitrite, which breaks down into nitrate. Now the ammonia and nitrite is broken down by the good bacteria in your filter. So that's why you never want to clean your filter with tap water, because the chlorine in the tap water can kill the good bacteria in the filter, and that puts you in all sorts of trouble. Now so that's the case with ammonia and nitrite in the nitrogen cycle and then it's going to end up as nitrate so therefore um, nitrate can be removed via water changes um, any photosynthesis is going to aid that reduction and then you can establish the formation of what's called denitrification within advanced media such as marine pure there are various other um, sulfur-based denitrators that I am not a fan of. The only one that I truly condone and would use is Marine Pure. That's a very good media for denitrating. So let's call that a minute. So let's get our nitrate reagent two. Let's open that. And then that's gonna be six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, didn't hurt myself. Now I give that a shaky shake. And then I've got to wait 10 minutes. Now I don't think I've got 10 minutes worth of ramble. So what I will do is just tell you what to do next, which is turn the page over. So it says nitrate, one part nitrogen, three parts oxygen. 
And then after 10 minutes, which is not now, you're then gonna line these up and you're gonna see what color it is. So I've not waited the adequate time and nor the, am I gonna wait because I'm pretty sure this tank that I've tested is zero nitrate anyway. So therefore, there's the control and there's that. So it is definitely not crystal clear like that one, but it's definitely not as yellow as that one. So I'd be saying that the level is about 0.075 is what I conclude from that. I don't think it's zero, but I don't think it's that either. But as you can see, the colors shade up quite effectively. So um, with most saltwater tanks, you really want the level sort of below one. If you're got, it, say, a freshwater tank with plants and stuff, you're probably better off with sort of five or 10. If you've got cichlids or salt or goldfish or something like that, you sort of want under 40. So this is giving you a guide here for the different fish. Saltwater fish, they sort of want under that. Coral, you really want under one. Um, and there are various products you can use to help with denitrification, assuming you've got good media, like Marine Pure. So particularly with fresh water, there are resins and stuff you can buy that'll suck the nitrate out. And then particularly for salt water, there's also some good carbon-based products that help to break down nitrates as well. So definitely um, come down the store and check all that sort of stuff out. But ultimately, this is how you do the test. You set up the control, you put that on the colors, you look down at it, you see what color that matches up to after 10 minutes. So the key to doing an accurate test is make sure you've got nice clean test tubes and make sure that you follow the instructions to the letter. And make sure your test kits don't get too old. Um, particularly the nitrate I find tends to fail positive first, whereas a lot of the other tests will fail negative. Anyway, that's how to do a JBL nitrate test. Um, there are a lot of other nitrate tests on the market and some of them are very dodgy and I do not trust them. Anyway, tell us your thoughts.